Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, I've searched out underneath and tried to find the ignition hot and I can't find it. So, I'm going to uh, wire the fan motor in on this red van with a switch. Now, of course, I couldn't find a toggle switch at any of the three quote-unquote auto supply stores that I went to yesterday that would handle the amperage of that fan. They all had toggle switches but they were like 5 amps, 10 amps at 12 volts. I'm sure that that blower fan uh, is, I don't know, 35 amps, 30 to, 30 to 40 amps and a 5 or 10 amp toggle switch it just it would start melting in like 5 seconds and this needs to run continuously so in the hopes of being able to uh, run it and leave it on I just bought a regular household light switch now this is rated at 6 amps at 250 volts so hopefully at 12 volts it will be able to handle 30 amps yeah some of the neighbors are moving their cows by stirred the dogs all up so anyway I'm just gonna run a hot wire from the battery run it to this switch if this switch fails I can always bypass the switch and have two little wires that I'll twisty twisty together to make the fan work so I'm going to get started on it. I've got to find a couple of screws to mount that switch with. I finally found my wire stripper and it seems to still work. <laughs> so, and I've stashed, I stashed some electrical tape from Top Tie in my special hiding place as well as my screwdriver and my side dikes. So, I couldn't, they also didn't have wire the 12 volt automotive wire that was uh, anywhere near thick enough to handle this and so this is 12 gauge and even that this is the thickest I could get at the hardware store other than welding lead and so it was either the size of my little finger or it was this this is 12 gauge this should work um, should be thick enough. I would have preferred 10 or even 8, but not available here, sir. So I'm going to wire this all together and we've got to run into town. Today's Top Tie's birthday, so we've got to get him a cake and uh, I forget. Oh, and I've got to get some fuel for the water pump. Errands to do, and I don't want to drive this van anymore without the fan working on it. It's not overheating, boiling over, overheating, but it's just running too hot. And I'm always really worried when we have to stop. There's road construction everywhere, uh, and there's stoplights. And so, you know, if it's staying sort of kind of reasonably cool if it's moving. Or, you know, it's, it's not boiling over if it's moving because there's air passing over the radiator just from uh, the movement of the vehicle but when you're stopped there's nothing going over that radiator so that's when you're going to heat up I'd just be more comfortable if we had this fan running so I'm going to go find some mounting screws and get to it all right well I went down hunting some screws and once again Top Die has locked the shop and left with the key so I don't have access to all the tools or the screws and nuts and bolts and stuff down there. I really don't want to wait for him to come back for lunch. So I found these self-tapping screws. I've got had a couple of them in the house. Except these are really hard to work unless you've got a drill or a good ratchet. And of course the shed's locked up and I don't have either one. I can make them work. I'll just get a crescent wrench and and cuss a little bit and I can I can get these to to work it'll just take ten times as long 
but I've already wasted 30 minutes walking around trying to find a key and screws and all that so it's typical Philippines everything takes twice as long and in this case it's going to take four times as long all right well I'm up under here these are the wires going to the I don't know how well this is going to focus in. It doesn't look like it's focusing much. But anyway, that's direct hot. So the ground is working on this on this connection right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run. Uh, it's just basically going to be a, a positive interrupter. That's what the switch is going to be. And I'll mount that on the dash. So now the fun part begins, running wires. All right, well, I was going to come through the dash. This, this little thing goes right here. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking it was plastic because it sits right here and it looks like plastic but it's just a little piece of styrofoam <laughs> a really little thin piece of styrofoam so i'm not going to be, be i'm not going to be able to mount it there so i just drilled a little hole in the dash here I'll run this wire up through there and that's where i'll mount the switch all right i got it all wired up underneath there I've ran the wires back around, down, under. This was a job here. This little plate, it screwed to the, that's where I ran the wires underneath. I didn't, I don't have anything to drill a hole in the firewall, so <coughs> I went back through the original little boot there. I had to poke a hole in the rubber boot with a screwdriver to run these wires through. This is bolted down to the floorboard. On the other side, it had one screw and one bolt. And when you're trying to use one of these little Chinese crescent wrenches that you have to adjust every turn back and forth, that took about 10 minutes. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh, that's music to my ears right there. I don't know if you can hear that fan running. Alrighty then, so I'm going to bolt that little switch down, button everything back up, and call this done. Alright, well it's all done. I'm going to come back out and clean this, clean this up a little bit. Everything's all muddy on the dash because I'm muddy. I'm sweating and I've been rolling around in the dirt. So, clean this up a little bit. Quite a little task. When you don't have any tools but those. Alrighty. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.